So, good day. Greetings, my people. Greetings to all of you. Good day, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Miro African TV. Please, if you are here for the first time and you have not yet subscribed, please do so. Just click on that subscribe button and then click on the bell button so that you will be getting notified or notification as soon as Miro African TV comes live on air. Once again, I am here today to greet you, to tell you welcome, good afternoon, good morning um, from wherever you are listening and watching from. My topic today is all about the problem about tribalism in Nigeria. As all of you can recall, yesterday I made a video pertaining the move that Showore is doing in terms of um, um, motivating people, so-called motivation, to advise them on something pertaining to revolution. Um, my people, um, let me switch over to this microphone. I believe this one is more louder than the other one. So what I'm about to tell you people now, because I am doing this video in response of the comments that people we are sending in. <laughs> A lot of uh, Yorubas and uh, Bini people are calling me a tribalistic man, tribalistic person, that the Igbos are too tribalistic. <laughs> they are now switching the clock, switching everything, changing the history. Um, but uh, we will not let that thing happen. Because I am against what Shore is trying to do by moving down to Eastern region to harvest our young boys for his own political gain. And uh, I also read about um, the other young man um, that stated that Igbos uh, uh, are the ones that uh, carried out the, that Igbos carried out the, the this thing, um, the coup in Nigeria, which is abnormal, you know, for a Yoruba person to write something like that in, in the sense of uh, um, um, hatred or something to push Igbos as the only bad people in eastern part of the nation. And he also called our youth lazy, 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 lazy people. Uh, men looking at Nigeria, in terms of laziness, we know which people are lazy in Nigeria and which people are hustling, you know. Wherever Igbo man finds himself, he must surely create a new path, even though the country try to push him under the art. He will build a tunnel to operate from that tunnel so that tomorrow he will still emerge as one of the biggest um, entrepreneurs in those areas. It has been in our gene. But let me not, I will come to that later, but let me focus more on the comment that came in. Um, 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 the guy that called Igbo people, tribalistic people, and he said that uh, Due to our greediness, we, we took part in coup, uh, we, we, passed, we, we, we used coup to destroy the Nigerian system. Um, let me call him by name, you know. He said that Daniel, is that Segu? Segu, Daniel, let me just advise you a little bit. Most of you do hear that our Igbo elites before the Biafran war, release Awolowo from prison. And uh, you guys have never ever researched what did Awolowo committed that made Awolowo to be prison before the war started in Nigeria for the first place. 
Because if you figure out what conspired between Awolowo and the North and the Nigerian by then, you will figure out that as soon as Nigeria received their independence, the first people that came in with coup plan is Yoruba. I am not saying this because I hate Yoruba people. You know, I am not saying this thing because, um, uh, because I don't like Yoruba people. I love Yoruba people. Likewise, I said Nam De Kano do. Nam De said that he has friends in Yoruba land. I have friends also in Yoruba land. But something that operates inside the Yoruba people is one thing that we have to do what? Denounce. What is that? That is corruption. Because as virgin as Nigeria was after the independence, it was a war that was started, that was planning to overthrow the independent elected or appointed government of Nigeria by then. I mean, the Zeke, the man, all those things. Try to do away and to destroy the system that had been already established. It's not the Igbo people. They jailed him. And the coup that you guys are talking of, that Igbo coup, Igbo coup, wasn't Igbo coup. It was wrongly translated. Let me state it for you. You may be lying on your own program, lying to the entire Nigeria because you are holding the giant press in Nigeria. But that press you are holding will no longer work because we, the alternative media, are coming out to correct things, correct all your lies that you have been lying for years. Yes. That's why we are here. That's why Middle Africa is here to unlock all the untold stories. Yorubas are the ones that planned that coup. Yes. And they got Igbos involved, like Ashore is doing today. When they are planning that they are rubbish to destroy the Igbo race, they will plan it and they will try to push Igbos there and present Igbo people in forefront so that when it gets wrong, wrong, they will pull themselves and start pointing fingers. They will not get involved. Now Showere is agitating. Showere is pushing for revolution because he did not win election. He's trying to destroy or trying to use the youth when he gathered momentum to push himself into power, not to destroy the system that was working against the system, uh, people of Nigeria. Now, Shoure is working only, only to make sure that he used the youth to make it into that position. And he will not work. Shoure will not make it because Shoure is planted Abiola in him. When I look at Shoure, I see Abiola. And all this while I have started revoking all the whole Abiola pictures in the public. Showore is always at the background. And I didn't know this thing before. My spirit, I just see Showore the first day. I told a friend of mine, he's living in France, in Paris. You know, his name is Sunday. He keep on trying to buy my mind into Showore. I told him, young man, this Showore you are talking of is Abiola that I'm seeing. But today... I have started seeing Shuwure in the background of every move that Abiola took that time. He was very small. Maybe most of you will not recall his face, but my software that I use, I use the face of Shuwure today and compare it under all the whole group pictures uh, under Abiola group and the movement. Shuwure pops up. They pop pointed everywhere with that face match. I'm not in Africa. We are using technology to identify whatever that is convincing people. Yes. Our people in the village are still asking, how did water enter inside coconut? But today, science has proved it, how it happened, how those things work. So, Shoure will not, will never be chameleon in my face because I'm putting a special glass 
I have a contact lens to identify him wherever he's going. Why won't Shuwure go to Yoruba people, Yoruba land? Generate whatever he wants in Yoruba land. Do it in your own area. When it gets wrong, and another thing people are not asking, police are not turning against Shuwure. Police are not turning against Shuwure. All these things he's talking, he's doing, police have never ever harassed him one day. When he talks about harassment, tell him, tell him to show you the video, the picture. It's nonsense harassment. Somebody big is behind this guy, pushing him to destabilize what the Biafrans are doing. But Shawere is too small. But if Igbo people allow Shawere, he will penetrate them. But for me, he is too small to maneuver the people that are listening to me because Shawere is nobody. He's nothing but a criminal who is under the payroll of these entities. How can somebody tell you that system of Nigeria that has never ever worked, even before independent, has never ever worked? Namdi suggested, Shawere, I will accept that name, Nigeria, when we join hand together, destroy this company owned by Britain, and then rebuild it. It's like that message that Jesus normally preached. He said that, I will pull down this wall and I will rebuild it in three days. People misunderstood him. And that is how Shouwere is misunderstanding the name Kano today. Because if Shouwere wants to change Nigeria, you have to uproot. Because if you are building a house on top of a sand, or just building a house on top of a rock without foundation, whenever wind blows, that structure will go down. And so we're trying to convince the Nigerians, we can build house on top of a rock without a foundation, because my forefathers have done it before. And which people fell, the Igbo people fell very deep. And we will not join you to do those things. Call your people, call your brothers, call all your relatives. Tell them both home and Lagos, everywhere they find themselves. Distance yourself from Shawore. Distance yourself from that his dream, preaching and all those my mind. Because Shawore have not come out clean. If Shawore comes out clean, we will know when he comes out clean. My people, believe me, he has never ever come out clean, you know. And he needs to come and clean to tell the Nigerian people, to tell the people in diaspora what his aim is. So we never has a very clear aim in the affairs of Nigeria. He wants to force himself into the elite ruling elite of Nigeria. He will drop you. So we will drop any of you when he gets into power. And he will do more worse than what they are doing today. Take it or you leave it. And he will not dare to rule Nigeria. We will not vote for him. So we have been to northern Nigeria. He has visited the Sokoto and other people. The same organization that are crippling Nigeria. He has visited them. What did they have as... What did they talk? So we, can you make it public? What you discuss with emirs of the northerners and the ones of the Yorubas? Did you visit any kingdom in Igbo land? Why must you try to generate our people into your false manipulation of so-called revolution? But you have respect for the northerners to visit their elites, to visit their kingdoms. Did you visit Obi of nature? Did you visit Amayane Wars of the rivers? No, you didn't do, do so. Do you have value for Igbo people? You are the same tribalistic rubbish caca. So somebody standing to tell me that I'm a tribalistic man while I'm trying to rescue life or tell them the truth, is it not absurd? These guys are not good for anything. Ojuku released the same criminal that wanted to overthrow Nigeria. In agreement of go and declare Odudu, that you, your people, look at you people. 
wondering about claiming to claim a road to the world. Calling evil people, lazy people. A Yoruba man. Yoruba people that could not even take care of their youths in their feral areas that have now released them as if they released cattle. If you go to uh, um, um, Nigerian Wharf in Lagos, all of them are there collecting um, uh, money for land, collecting money for each container that he, which people owns that containers. Those containers you guys are collecting money everywhere they are floating container, wherever container is going. The people running behind container and the, all the whole importers are they evil people? You call us lazy. Oh my God! You call us tribalistic people. Am I a tribalistic man? No! Who, which people are the captain that keeps on spreading the order of tribalistic in Nigeria? It's the Yorubas. 100%. So, a Yoruba man, as far as I'm alive, will not, will not deceive my people into anything rubbish in Nigeria. I keep on telling you people, I prefer working with Northerners than to dare to even sell a car with a Yoruba person. What did I say? I will go to any length doing something with Northerners, I mean the houses, but I will not dare to do it because houses, they are like this. And the same houses that I'm talking, they call the Yorubas also, they call them back. Bad that doesn't, you don't know whether bat belong to dead or they belong to rat. If Christmas come, Yoruba will do Christmas, pass all the whole Christians in Africa. If Muslim Malam come or the Salah, you will see everywhere we full of ram. They will celebrate Salah, pass Where do you belong? Where do you stand? If you come in Nigerian corruption, they will back Buhari to squash and destroy the economy of Nigeria and destroy the youth of Nigeria. Only for them to come out to the next um, political election. If Jonathan enters into power, any Easterner enters into power, Eurobas will go and sew uniform, telling you how corrupt, how bad the Igbo man is. Could you still recall what Tunubu's wife told the Igbo people? They are nowhere to be trusted. Why? Because you are dictating for those living in Lagos to whom they should vote. It's election now free and fair or must you dictate for people because they are living in that on on Lagos state does Lagos state belong to Yorubas? if we are talking about those that we claim Yoruba we may talk about Bini kingdom and Binis have been have been rubbing shoulders with Igbo since ages yes we have our people that operate that does things far back with the Bini kingdom Yorubas have been working with the uh, homies and, uh, and uh, all these um, um, uh, Dahomies and Lome, this area. It's, it's where they operate. You know? It's only this, this Bini, um, this, uh, I think, if area that are, uh, they are the, the, the part of Nigeria. And the corrupt entities, the corrupt ones, the Tunubus that are slave traders are now the one, the same enslaving their people. Go and read the history of Tunumbu family. They will tell you that Tunumbu queer, that the mother, the, the Tunumbu whatever, she fight the white people because of, no. She is the one supplying slaves to the white people and the Arab people, the Tunumbu family. Until the white and the Arab people start operating from her back and she started war to defend her market. Not that she started war to defend the, 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 the Nigerian whatever. No. She was fighting for her territory. They are now whitewashing the history. We know all those things. You dear common air to call a woman a lazy man. Are you out of your brain? We are the largest entrepreneurs on planet. You will come and tell me the population of Eurobas are more than the Igbos. I also will tell their own. But we dominated the entire blood vein of Africa. Not only in Nigeria. Igbos entered Kenya. 
Kenya is like United States today. A Kenyan guy came to me and he told me, my brother, you know what? I traveled to my country. Let me on my fan. Here is a little bit hot. So a Kenyan guy came to me and he said to me, he traveled to his country that he couldn't recognize his country again. Why? Because Igbos have entered Kenya. He said everywhere is two-story building, three-story building, two-story building, two-story building. All of them belong to Nigerians. You know they use the word Nigerians. But we know the people that travel out and open their businesses over there. Ghanaians that their cities are like toilet paper. The same Igbo people have penetrated Ghana. Look at Ghana. Ghana is booming. Look at infrastructures everywhere. Is it the government that are building it? No. It's the same the Igbo people. This motherfucker that is, that is operating this rat that is operating on, on this um, um, YouTube called the Igbo people lazy people. Even though if Biafra comes, if Biafra comes, Nigeria will even get gain more on the hand of the boy because we will still enter your Nigeria to, to invest more than you to develop your economy. It has been in our gene. You can't steal it. You can't take it away from us. It has been in our gene. So coming on, 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 on social media to write rubbish about, about my people, it's like you just want to provoke me. And you, you really catch me if you go to that extent. So what I'm about to tell you people now is this. Um, distance yourself from Shawore movement. Whatever Shawore is doing is not for us. If he has any plan, so-called plan or whatever, let him go to the northern part of Nigeria. They are so visible, their ally. Go to the north. <laughs> Recruit the northerners. Go to Allah Yoruba. Recruit the Yoruba people. If what you guys are doing is moving and we love it, then we may decide to join you people. Yes, we may then decide. But coming to seek for the blood of our youth to die on your behalf, uh, I will never ever accept such a thing and I will never promote it. Call it revolution or whatever you call yourself. As far as that guy called Showare, Yoruba, is there. Forget it. If you are Bini, they will kill you and throw away face. They have been killing you people. They have been manipulating you guys into rubbish. And if you fail to learn, they will do it again. Yes, I have to tell you people, that is gospel truth. So, if you are coming to Miro Africa for the first time, I will advise you to please... Um, um, subscribe to Mirror African TV, like the video, leave your comment. Even though as we are doing now, a lot of brothers are writing something, you know. So what is a scammer? He has been scamming their people. But coming to Igbo land now to generate our boys in his so-called dream of whatever. You know, our people, uh, how will I put it? Our people keeps on, the coup that put Igbo out of their position in Nigeria is being planned and executed by the Yorubas. I don't know whether it's two, three Igbos that are involved. The remaining are the Yorubas. And those names, you will not hear it any place. You will not hear those names in, because they are the ones that are on the news and the whole platform, preaching and promoting, diverting, putting war between where the Northerners. Go and read for yourself, my people. I have, look, let me tell you guys something. I have not visited northern Nigeria before. I have not been to northern Nigeria before. The only place I have visited once, and I didn't spend up to, up to three hours, is Abuja. I visited my brother, my senior brother, and I left.
because I don't want to mix myself with these people who ha. You know? And the Yorubas, this after the war, let me not mistake, after the war, all the whole properties that Igbos left in the northern part and ran away, they received all of them back. All the owners of those land kept their keys for them. They kept their keys for them. If you come back, they will call you, say, are you back? Hey, see your key, oh. But the Yorubas, Mumu Conductor, Agburo, where the street become landlord. Aburo, where the street become landlord after the war. All of them are now landowners and property owners. Who own those? Ask them to show you the documents. They seized everything. They seized everything. And they are the ones that are promote that are promoting that hatred. And they are the ones that told Nigeria, how can you be fighting the people and also allowing them to eat it? It's the same Europa people. It's the same Europa people that are still till today eyeing the properties and the wealth of the Igbos. Till today are the ones that seize the, the, the whole money that Igbos has in their bank after the war. Yes. Am I am I am I lying? I'm not lying. I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys the truth. It's nothing but the gospel truth. Till today in Lagos, which people are still eyeing the properties of the Igbos? It's the same Yoruba. The same people. And they all of a sudden they come out from somewhere. Can you ask yourself what will motivate a Yoruba person to ginger for, for a revolution? If it's not to torpedo the Biafran movement, what are they losing? In Buhari government, they are there. Jonathan government, they are there. Everywhere, they are there. Ask yourself, what are they losing? Are they in our shoes? Are they like Igbo people that they block our business, they block our road, they block investment that comes to our area, they block everything we are like, I don't know, conquered people that they don't want to develop. We like reservoir. What will motivate Yoruba to come out and, de and preaching for revolution? It will not work. It will never ever work. It will not work because they have their aims and their aims is to torpedo the race of Biafra that is now going viral all over the world. They now send a young guy, a young Yoruba, Maybe vibrant people will listen to him. He owns Sahara Reporters. Go and search Sahara Reporters. Since they have been killing the Igbos in the East, they never write about it. Even though this on our Dr. Damage, where we our brother, where they work for Shogore, all the people, even though this one where they call himself evangelical, whatever, um, for uh, where we interview them, they cannot show it. All these people have never ever stand up against the issues happening in Igbo land. Dr. Damage is among Shoure, those that criticize Jonathan. Dr. Damage, my question to you, where is uh, Jonathan, corruption and whatever? What, what have you gotten now? What did Obama and uh, Saudi Arabia give to you? Ehu, you there abroad, your brain see they walk like a person where they cut palm, palm, palm tree in the village. You cannot use your single brain to figure out when they, they want to manipulate you into something. That, this guy, I will still come out, I will, I'm still harvesting his videos, where he kicked against Jonathan, this Dr. Damage that worked under Sahara Reporters. I'm still harvesting all his videos. I will publish it. We need to know those that are selling out our people. You think that they are with you? They are not with you. And they can never be with you. Yes. You fight Jonathan. You call him names. You and, I mean, Dr. Damage and, and Sarah Reporters. They keep on kicking anything that comes. You know, all this, I keep on telling you guys, all these children that have been born in, in Yoruba and, and, and outside Igbo land, let me put it that way, 
they can never fight and defend the interests of their origin. Because they were born there, they went to primary school, nursery school, secondary, university, and worked. Everything is outside Igbo land. And their parents don't dare to bring them back. My mama say, my papa na Igbo. That's, that's those people. My mama say, my papa na Igbo. You know? That, that's, that's whom they are. Anything that will bring good thing to Igbo land will be fought and dealt with by the Yorubas with all alacrity. Where is Tunde Bakari? Those that were fighting Jonathan that time, that uh, even though this um, will also incur them, all of them that sold uniform, you know, those people that were fighting Jonathan of uh, fuel increment, how much did Jonathan increase fuel? As soon as I start complaining, Jonathan reduced the price. What is the price of that thing today? A liter of fuel, how much is it today? From from pan to fire. Those people that, in short, term, we need to pinpoint the people that belongs to us, that are our children. And with time, we will start checking blood. Because a lot of our women, you know, they do sleep around with, with all these kanker worms. You know? Do you know why in Igbo land, if you want to get married, we do go and research the family where the woman is coming out from that many people are no longer doing today? Do you know why? Because we should figure out those that house us pregnant their grandfathers. Because our forefathers know that uh, we are having enemies that are penetrating from the backyard, delivering undelivered blood into our system so that before you get married, they could be able to figure it out because your villager, is, your person is being married in that area and that your person will give you the full details. And when Hendy Bona or Otarobaka, they will tell you, um, um, you know, say, since where they marry us for this village, they say this family where you want to enter. They know they here, they grow up for Bini. And the other one, they say they the mama born them for north. And they grew up that place. And the other one, they say, ha, ah, there is for centuries now Yoruba land relief. Oh boy, there is mixed blood inside that place. Because Yoruba is now then they use you the pursue woman. Touch and follow come from Yoruba and Awasa. So that is why before we get married, we will go and research the family where we are stepping in. We don't want Obaroshi, we don't want Obarawasa, Obarakatori area, Obara this rubbish people in our territory. And this Dr. Damage and their group, all of them are contaminated blood. Take it or you leave it. You may not accept with me, but it is the gospel truth, the fact. Yes. You know, how many of you are doing research in terms of uh, to figure out where your where your wife is coming from or the origin of, of, of the of their families. You know? I wasn't born in Nigeria. Me where they here. I wasn't born in Nigeria. I didn't I was born outside Nigeria. But now I realize why my dad said career you must carry this boy go back home. He have to grow up in the village. Now I know the value. What I know now I dictate what what my father my father want me to be a proud for what dear Period. You know. You are Igbo, you can't speak Igbo language. You can't identify yourself with your people. You only collide with with like this worship media. You know, this guy where they call himself worship media, where they Canada, where interview Nam the Khan. If you see how he behaves, this gay method, they, they do like gay, you know, this gay homosexualism and whatever, where they do like gay, you know, that guy, these people with Dr. Damage and, and all of them, we know them. We know them. They are the one fighting, destroying all the effort we are doing. Look at them, Nam Dekano came. They are the ones that rush in to, to, to demand for interview. They are the ones that move in to, to, to interview, you know, to look for the loophole where they will look, where they will get something to maneuver. But we are here. 
I am. Miro Africa is here to counter and give you the injection, everything that you need in your life. I will give it to you. I will give it. Oh, you both watch my program and tell me, say, Miro, I say yes. He said, take this office. Now, two rooms. Now, inner side, I did. That's why not there two days. The other side will be main studio. The whole light is inside. Oyibo, watch my video. Oyibo, he said that. I love how you are promoting your culture, your people, your heritage. Oyibo, Oyibo, talk him. Yes. You know? And you will see the same people, the Igbo people, that operate in media. Dr. Damage, he use his damage medicine. Damage, uh, do the well, whatever. Destroy Roger, um, 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 destroy um, 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 Jonathan during his time. What did Jonathan do to Nigeria? Jonathan did not imprison nobody. Jonathan didn't kill anybody. Jonathan did not even slap Nigerians because of his government. Look at Buhari. Dr. Damage, what are you doing about Buhari? Nam Dekano said something about, about Jubril. Dr. Damage, did you research if what he's saying is true? But you guys are there. If any Igbo man get into power, if any Igbo man get, you will see them, they will be in forefront with Yorubas to use nail, to nail our people, to nail the dream of Igbos, to nail everything. That thing will destroy all of you. Because you are concussion, this your concussion blood that entered into our territory, try to move like a like this uh, former governor of uh, River State. You know? They call him, um, um, what, what, what they call him? This, the, we, we uh, um, wrote me. You know? Wrote me. Wrote me and made it penetrate our area. Due to this, they are mixed, mixed blood. What did he do? He siphoned all the whole River State money and used it and do what? And sponsor. Yoruba party and destroy the son of the soil of a river state person. Uproot him from power. You know? What is happening in YouTube? YouTube, why are you people tampering my video? YouTube. YouTube, I know that the Nigerian government are lobbying for you people to reduce whatever we are doing. YouTube, Stop this. You don't big pass this thing. You are not Facebook. Don't play around with my streaming key. What I'm doing here is live. I am not tampering nobody's program. I am telling my people the truth and nothing but the truth. And it is time we should fish out the canker worms that are operating our in our territory, in our areas, in time. Because I say, well, for I can we not offer, no, okay, before you I can matter. You know? So, and our people visiting those sites, patronizing these people, is not a good thing. You should identify them. Whenever you see their videos, whenever you see their program, go there and call them by their names. Tell them you are, you are a sellout. Don't call him betrayal. He's a sellout that keeps on selling out that everything that belongs to his people. Somebody who... Oh. Now, Dr. Damage, how much are you getting now from uh, um, this man? Um, uh, what, what do they call him? Um, uh, Muhammad Buhari. And, and the person that even wrote something in my comment, he said that they are the ones, the Yorubas are the ones that fought Abacha. <laughs> Let me tell you people the simple truth. You know, most of you started following the Nam the Kano today. But there are people that know the Nam the before. When the Nam they have not started agitating for Biafra. Do you know that this thing she was doing today, trying to recruit our people for revolution? That is the same thing that the Yorubas did during the time of Abacha. They are the one that brought out on Nam the Kano. Nam the Kano is the one that agitated in London for Nigeria to go back to democracy. The reason why Abacha should be removed, Nam they did it. Go and watch that video. You will see the Yorubas at the back, the person holding microphone, telling the, the, the British people the reason why they should approach Abacha. Yes, 
Vietnam, it's also the evil man that fight for it. And somebody will come here, right? Do you think that we don't, we don't read news? We don't know what is going on? You can play around with our people back home, but we that are outside, eh, no. our people say, eh, to. I will never allow you to succeed on this one. You will never succeed. So, my people, thank you very well. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have anything to join, to add, maybe you have more info, you have more um, detailed, um, more uh, um, details on, on how to put things right. My program is open. Miro Africa, this studio is open. If you want to come in person, you can come in person. We can sit down, deliberate in person. If you would like to come on air, I will connect you through WhatsApp, through Facebook call, through anything callable. Call free of charge. I will connect you and we will host, discuss, push, teach our people, push them to know the hidden secret of these people. That's the only thing you can offer to our people. Are you going to dash our people money? No. Are you going to build houses? No, but give them that your knowledge. Give out that knowledge so that the knowledge will be keep on spreading. Tomorrow, your man will try to maneuver. Your man will tell us, oh, wait, 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 wait. I watched my brother's video and he thought about this thing. Take that your manipulation and lie and get out. I know the truth. Do you know why they are keeping our place down so that no internet will come in or those things? Because if internet comes in, people back home will start have enough data to watch YouTube and peak. Their knowledge will spark and they will start resisting all those manipulations. So I will thank you once again. I really appreciate all of you that tune in to Miro African TV. I noticed that Men are dominating Middle African TV. And the people leading is United States. And I also noticed through um, the um, um, back channel that up to 80,000 people are following Middle Africa, watching Middle Africa, but they are not subscribing. If this 80,000 will subscribe, it will open more channels. It will also make it more difficult for YouTube to maneuver with our programs. If you know that you are among those 80 to 90,000 that watch this video daily, please subscribe. Be part of the making. Thank you. Remain blessed and bye bye for now. I am your humble host and also Ojozi one of Miro. Enyo. When you look at Miro, oh boy, you must see yourself. Thank you. Remain blessed. And bye-bye for now. Bye-bye, my people. Happy weekend. Happy weekend for those that are in Europe. Happy weekend. Those that are from Japan, I don't know. The ones from US, I don't know. But from Europe, I will tell you, happy weekend. And maybe by tomorrow or today, I will also come back. And we'll continue where we stopped. Bye-bye.